Welcome everyone. This is going to be a very short video to answer some of the most commonly asked questions about our upcoming migration to the Polygon blockchain. So why are we migrating? Very simply put, it's down to the gas fees on Ethereum. Gas prices have shot up over the last year, making transactions on the Ethereum network very painful, especially for very complex contracts like Axion. When we first launched, it cost around $5 to stake or unstake, and about $10 to bid in our auctions. These days, it costs upwards of $80 to stake and over $300 to enter the accelerator, which has now replaced our auctions. At some times when the gas is spiking up, it can be several hundred dollars to stake and five or six hundred dollars to enter the accelerator. This has really hampered Axion as a project over the last six to eight months, and it's been very hard to onboard new users with such fees, and it's very prohibitive for smaller investors. So, why Polygon? The Polygon network was chosen for many reasons, but primarily because it is an Ethereum Layer 2 solution, which is immediately compatible with our contracts and has extremely low fees. We will even be able to cover the transaction fees for our users and will be airdropping some Matic to all Axion holders and stakers upon launch, allowing you to immediately make some transactions. Pretty much every transaction required for Axion, including entering the accelerator, will cost around a couple of cents at most. Once we have launched, we will be really ramping up our marketing efforts and bringing in many new investors to the project. So what do users need to do? If you're a regular investor who either has Axion stored in their wallet or has it staked, there is nothing that you need to do right now. Everything will be fully migrated for you. All stakes, active or matured, will be migrated across to Polygon. After we launch, you will simply need to press connect to Polygon on our staking platform and it will add the network to your MetaMask wallet, allowing you to connect to our platform and see your stakes. The only people who need to do anything right now are the 25 or so people who have manually provided liquidity to Uniswap or are storing Axion inside their own contract. I'll come back to them shortly. So let me just show you how simple it will be to add Polygon to your MetaMask wallet. So if I go across to our new staking platform or the Matic version of our staking platform, what you'll immediately see is wrong network. Please switch to Polygon network. And if you click this, MetaMask will open and it's wanting to add uh, a network to your MetaMask. Allow this site to add a network. If you have already added Polygon somehow, you won't get this stage. It'll just ask you to, to switch. So all you need to do is check that it says polygon-rpc.com and the chain ID is 137. And as long as that's correct, you can click approve. And then it will then ask you if you want to switch the network. Click switch network. You will now see in your MetaMask that at the top it says Polygon Network instead of Ethereum Mainnet. And this is how you'll switch between the networks. You simply open MetaMask, click on Ethereum, and switch to Polygon. So if I switch it to Ethereum and I go back to a staking platform and refresh. And as you see, it says wrong network. Please switch to Polygon. Click switch network. MetaMask will then open asking if you want to switch. And you simply press switch network. It will then do the change for you. Press connect once again. And you can now connect your wallet. Now you're connected on Polygon. You can have some extremely cheap fees. So what about your Bitcoin divs? If you have Bitcoin built up inside the staking platform, you don't need to worry. It will also be migrated across to the Polygon network where you'll be able to withdraw it for a couple of pennies. You can withdraw it now if you want and pay Ethereum gas fees, but we recommend just waiting until the migration has been completed. Users will also be able to use their built up Bitcoin dividends directly in the accelerator once we've migrated. That means you won't need to withdraw them from the staking platform to your wallet and then use them to enter. You'll be able to directly use your accrued Bitcoin divs to bid in the accelerator. What about unstaked auction bids? So if you're one of the few people who still have an unstaked auction bid, this is likely because you bid a very small amount in the auction and then the network fee to stake the winnings was extremely high, larger than what you had actually invested. Don't worry, you can leave it unstaked for now. 
We're going to take a snapshot of everyone's unstaked bids just before migration and you'll be able to manually claim them after migration via a form in the staking portal. This means you won't have to pay the staking fee, we'll just create the stake for you. What about our Axiom launch tokens? So tokens like Valve, Security and Zywolf, anything that you've got in the on the launch page down at the bottom if you have any vested tokens. So these tokens are all Ethereum based and the Axiom Vesting Engine is also Ethereum based. So this will remain on Ethereum and these tokens will continue to be vested on the Ethereum network. Any future Axiom launches, if they happen to be a Polygon based token, we will have an, a Polygon version of a Vesting Engine where of course you'll have the benefit of extremely cheap network fees to withdraw each one of those vestings. But for now, with your Valve, Security Dance and Darwolf, you don't need to do anything. You'll still be able to get to them from a staking platform and you'll still be able to withdraw them. How will we buy Axion on Polygon? So instead of using Uniswap, you'll use something called QuickSwap, which is currently the dominant exchange on the Polygon network. It's very similar to Uniswap. As you see here, I'll open Uniswap and QuickSwap and they've got very similar, very similar interfaces. So you simply connect your wallet. So the website address is quickswap.exchange and it warns you at the top, make sure it is quickswap.exchange. Careful of these fake ones out there. But you'll simply come to QuickSwap and you'll be able to use Ethereum or Matic or any other common token to be able to buy Axion. Now at the time of making this video, of course, Axion has not been launched on Polygon, so you can't find it. So please be careful, don't buy any scam tokens trying to impersonate Axion. Wait until the official announcement from us giving you the contract address of Axion. There will of course be a link on our website taking you to the correct one. So if in doubt, you'll be able to come to our website, click on how to buy. And then on this page, under step three, it will tell you the QuickSwap link. It will tell you the con contract address and it will link you directly to QuickSwap. This is the safest way of making sure you're buying the correct token. So Polygon being a different network, you won't have any tokens on there initially. So you'll need to bring across some tokens from Ethereum. How do you move crypto from Ethereum to Polygon? It is advised that you use the official bridge when moving tokens from Ethereum to Polygon. The official bridge is wallet.polygon.technology slash bridge. So if I go to that website now, it will ask that you connect your wallet. Now this is a bit different from simply Uniswap or QuickSwap. It does ask you to do a signature when you connect your wallet. This is to make sure that it's the, it's the real thing. So if you're using a ledger at this point, you will need to unlock your ledger and press sign on your ledger in order to complete the transaction. And you'll see, you can see your wallet and you can see what tokens you've got in your wallet or you can go to the bridge. If you click on the bridge, you'll be able to go from Ethereum to Polygon. So at this point, you'll need to change your wallet back to the Ethereum network and it will list any tokens you have. So if you have some Ethereum, it will show up here. This is a tutorial account. I don't have anything in here, so I can't transfer anything. But if you did, you would simply type how much you want and press transfer going from Ethereum to Polygon. And it will then give you an estimate of how much it's going to charge you for a fee and it will transfer it across. We will have an official tutorial video published on this later. You can also send tokens from some centralized exchanges like Coinbase or Crypto.com. But please make sure you are withdrawing to the correct chain or you may lose your tokens. So when you go to withdraw some Ethereum or Matic from Coinbase, you just need to change the dropdown from Ethereum to Polygon to make sure that you are withdrawing to the correct network. Your wallet address is of course the same because it's the same wallet address no matter which network you're on. So you just make sure you're withdrawing to Polygon, paste your wallet address into the centralized exchange and then it will withdraw your tokens. The same goes for withdrawing from Polygon back to Ethereum. It's best to use the official bridge but you can also use a centralized exchange as long as they support it. Be careful and make sure you read the warnings and pick the correct deposit address for the network. So when you click deposit on Coinbase or Crypto.com, it will ask you which network you're depositing from. 
by default it will probably be on Ethereum. Just make sure you change that to Polygon. Again, we will have some official tutorial videos published at a later date explaining the best way to do this. But please be careful what you're doing. Axiom cannot be held responsible if you lose any of your crypto by sending it to the wrong address. Accelerator bonus change. Okay, so currently the accelerator bonus is up to 28%. On Polygon, the accelerator bonus will be significantly reduced. So the bonus is very high at the moment, and it's been high because of the network fees involved in getting in. You know, it's been $300, $400 in order to enter the accelerator, so it's been set quite high to compensate for that, but we will be reducing that. So if you want to get the most out of your money, it is worth buying into the accelerator today whilst you still get the 28% discount. We also have a couple of NFTs launching. We have the Axion Supernova NFT, which has been announced already, and this will be awarded to the last 25 accelerator buyers whilst we're still on Ethereum. You can find out some more about this on our website, axion.network supernova, and here it will explain some of the benefits of this token, about its rarity, and about what it will do. So there's lots of people wanting to get hold of this and the only way you'll be able to get hold of it is by bidding in our accelerator and being one of those last 25 people to, to bid. We also have an OG Polygon NFT. We haven't released the details of this yet, but it will be for the first unknown amount of accelerator buyers once we've launched on Polygon. We will release some details soon about that. So when will the migration happen and how long will it take? Well, migration is going to happen any day now. The team are just finalising the last few bits. The migration will likely take around five to six hours. The process will be as follows. We will pause the contract on Ethereum. So during this time, no one will be able to buy or sell Axion on Uniswap. No one will be able to stake or unstake. Everything will be frozen. No one will be able to do anything. We will also be taking snapshots of everyone's uh, stakes and wrap Bitcoin. We'll be gathering all the V2 data and V1. We'll be then adding these snapshots into the new V3 contracts. Of course, when we're migrating across to Polygon, we are going from version 2 Axion up to version 3. We're getting rid of all the old auction stuff that's not needed anymore in the contracts, and we've got a load of new optimized code, which is really going to help streamline Axion in the future. We'll then launch the contracts on Polygon, restore the contracts, restore everyone's stakes. Now there's 27,000 records, so that's going to take an hour or so. We'll then restore everyone's Bitcoin balances. We'll then restore the token price per share, unpause the contracts, add liquidity, and send the Bitcoin across to a contract. We'll then be sending Liquid Axion out to all users. So if you had Liquid Axion in your wallet on Ethereum, we'll be sending you Axion on Polygon to replace it. We'll be then sending out Matic to all the applicable users and this is the free Matic airdrop. This won't be a large amount, it's just going to be a tiny amount of Matic but it's going to be enough for you to do several transactions. So this is, as I say, is going to take five to six hours and during this time no one will be able to trade anything. We will be live streaming this on YouTube whilst the devs are doing it. And once it's finished, we will, of course, put out announcements and there will be a lot of updated pages on the websites. So things like the how to buy page, this will all have changed and it will all be explaining Polygon and that you need Ethereum on the Polygon chain or you need Matic in order to buy. And the links will all be different. So keep an eye out for the announcements. Keep an eye out for the live stream. And as soon as we have launched on Polygon, we will be launching a very big marketing campaign. So watch this space. So Uniswap liquidity providers. This is for advanced users only. There's only about 25 or so people remaining. This is for people who have manually added liquidity to Uniswap. They may also have been people who entered our mine. If you're not sure what this is about, don't worry. It probably doesn't affect you. So in order for, to facilitate the move to Polygon and the launch of Axiom V3, we will require everyone to remove their liquidity positions on Uniswap. Users must remove this today or they risk losing their Axiom and ETH as they will no longer be able to sell their LP tokens back to Uniswap. If you have LP tokens in the Axiom mine, please withdraw them immediately. 
there's a link to the mine it's just a staking platform so if you go to a staking platform under tools you'll be able to see liquidity mining if you have any tokens here you must withdraw them right now once you have withdrawn them you must also sell them back to uniswap so if you have lp tokens in your wallet please sell them back to uniswap as soon as possible this can be done at app.uniswap.org slash hash slash pool slash v2 if you don't see your position on that link with the correct wallet connected press import pool and select eth and axiom then you should see your position and be able to remove liquidity so i'll show you very quickly how to do that so i'm on uniswap click on pool and click on view v2 liquidity okay so your wallet is connected and it will say it might show your position here if you have one or it may say no liquidity found if so click import pool select eth and select axn make sure it's d127 and once you've imported this pool it will tell you if you have any liquidity if you do please click remove and this will convert your lp tokens back to eth and axion in your wallet once you've done that you are fine if users do not remove the liquidity from uniswap before the 5th of october you will lose your axion and eth now it's actually the 17th of october today we've given a bit longer for users to do this but please you really must remove it today or you will lose that axion and the eth there is no way we can help you withdraw that if you have any more particular questions please join our discord and you can find that on our website simply go to axion.network and you'll see at the top a link to discord telegram twitter facebook or reddit make sure you're following at least one of these two ones discord or telegram and you will find out all the latest updates keep an eye on the website axion.network news where you'll find all of the latest news for example here's the warnings about removing liquidity there was a vote about migrating to polygon we've had a few live streams we've got a competition winning at, running at the moment and we've had a few other things we've announced for supernova nft we just had our audit completed by halborn which is very exciting news this has then facilitated us to move and we've had our latest brand marketing and project update so please keep an eye on this site and make sure you're following our social media networks that's all for now look forward to seeing you on polygon